Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We may see a lot of players wearing gloves because it's cold for this game between the Florida Gators and the New Hampshire Wildcats. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Wildcats. The Gators are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Florida has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. I got to go with the favorite in this one. That's right, Gator fans. I know you don't believe it, but I'm taking the Gators. Florida is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. He kicks it off. Number 83 takes it at the 8. Missed tackle. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. So how do you think this offense is going to do today? I don't think they're going to be able to do much today, Brad. This defense has a big-time playmaker at linebacker, and he thrives on stopping the run. And if that offense is going to have a big day, then I think they'll have to do it through the air. I really don't see this offense running the ball successfully today. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. First down. New Hampshire goes with the ace set here. Hands it off. A little juke. Tackle at the 33. 10-yard pickup on the play. Gain of 10 on the play. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Brought down at the 31 yard line. First down. New Hampshire comes to the line with three wide. A little juke. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. They line up at the 33. Second down and 12. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Number two, fires down the middle. They can't connect, incomplete. They almost had six points. The receiver just couldn't hang on. That was a tough catch to make, but this defense can breathe a small sigh of relief now. From the 33-yard line, third down. Number two with four wide receivers. Looking to throw. He passes it, and it's caught. Loss of three. On the reception, three-yard loss on the play. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 20 is back awaiting the punt. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All sides, on the defense. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll 
throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. He gets another, and this is a big one. How special was that pass play, Coach? That was the super-duper special. As a coach, you got to give these players a pat on the back for executing out there. It's first and goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. New Hampshire comes out in the shotgun. He gets another carry. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Well, here we go from the two-yard line. The Wildcats come to the line with their jumbo package. That's incomplete. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. New Hampshire lines up in a goal line set. Fakes to the back. Looks. He passes it. And it's complete for the touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. Great. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is New Hampshire, seven, Florida, nothing. is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks off. Number eight takes it from the six. He jukes him. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. First and 10, ball on the 31 yard line. First and 10. Number 15 with three wide receivers. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. He overthrew the receiver. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. Second down. Ball on the 31 yard line. Florida lines up with three receivers. play he tackles him for a loss they sure shut down the halfback on that play boy they were in the backfield in a hurry the back just had no space to run the football it's third and 11 ball on the 30. drops back to pass looking deep to the right incomplete I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Right. Fourth and 11. Florida, ready to put this one away. Number 19 is the deep man awaiting the return. Number 19, back deep to return. Cut. He punts it. Number 19 takes it at the 33. 
Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. They'll set up shop at the 37. Going with the shotgun here. And he just got drilled. Number two. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Number two is back in the gun. Back to pass. And here's a quick throw. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. They'll start at the 34. They line up in the shotgun. Gets it to the back. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Number 33 comes away with five yards on the carry. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 29-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Looks to pass. He throws left. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. There's an injured player on the field. It looked like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. From the 21-yard line. It's first down from the gun. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. Number 33 gets about a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 20. They line up in an eye. Here's the halfback. Broke away from one. He tackles him for a loss. Not a very successful run that time, Coach. Did you see his explosion off the defensive line? woo -hoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there. It really made a nice play. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. New Hampshire, seven, Florida, nothing. Third it's third and 10. ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Florida comes out with five receivers. He drops back, steps up, tries to juke. There's a missed tackle. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. Florida comes to the line with three wide. He lets it go. The ball is tipped. This one will fall incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That'll make it second down. Second on the 11 going in. On the 11 yard going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's taken off. And they make the stop at the seven. Scoops up the loose ball. Brought down at the seven yard line. They narrowly escaped there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Third down and six yards to go. 
Ball on the seven. The Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. He throws. And that one's incomplete. Woo! He just missed a wide open man. Yep. They really blew a great opportunity there. It's fourth down. They'll line up the field goal unit, and this one is from 24 yards out. It's up, and it sails through the upright. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. Number 19 fields it at the 7, makes a move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 27. First and 10. Number 27, the lone back. Here's for the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. It's second down and 12. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He throws it. He snags it. They get three yards on the play. Three yard gain on the play. They line up at the 28. Third and nine. Number two with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Let's it go. Incomplete pass. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The Wildcats are lining up the punt it away. Number 25, the return man. He gets it away. Number 25, fields it at the 42. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at midfield. The Gators are lining up with three receivers. First down, look at the throw. Looks, number 15, throws it out there. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. It's first down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Florida comes out in the shotgun. He dukes. They'll bring him down at the 23. A gain of six. Gain of six on the play. They line up at the 23. It's second and four. Florida lines up with three receivers. Again with a carry. Can't cut him up. Tackle made at the 18. And he picks up the first. Nice job by the halfback, taking the delayed handoff and making something out of that play. First and 10. They're in the red zone. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Cut. 
Throws this one out to the left. He's got his tight end. Touchdown, Florida! Guys, this tight end has the potential to be a crucial part of this offense. Potential? Heck, I think he already is. You're right, Kirk. That's because he sells his block so well that the defense leaves him alone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Florida, 10, New Hampshire, 7. Florida, ready to kick this one off. Number 19 and number 83, back to return. He kicks it off. Number 19, fields it at the seven. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First and 10. They come out with three wide receivers, throwing right, and he pulls it down. And a good call that time. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's plays like this that can have a lot of success against this defense. Two minutes left in the half. Ball on the 35-yard line. New Hampshire lines up with three receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. That'll bring up third down. From their own 35-yard line. Third down and a yard. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He throws it. This one is incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Fourth and one. They line up to punt this one away. Number 25 is back deep to return the punt. Punts the ball away. 25, fields it at the 35, so they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that performance this time around. This drive will start at the 38, number 15, has five receivers lined up here. He's looking to pass. Makes a move. He's taken off. Brought down at the 49. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. The defense lines up in a dime. Quick throw. He's right there for the interception. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. The offense will start at the 34. The New Hampshire Wildcats take over at the 34-yard line. First and 10. On play action. And he's sacked. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. 
holding on the offense. The penalty is declined, second down. From the 42-yard line, ball on second the down. Yard line. Florida brings in their nickel package, throws it out there, catches it. Three-yard loss there. Three-yard loss on the play. Third, and long. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 45. Let's it fly. It falls incomplete. He just overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow a guy like that. Fourth and long. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 21 is back to receive. Number 18 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Calls for the fair catch. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? We're at the one minute mark, first half. The defense sets up in the dime. Drops back to pass. Number 15 lets it fly. Tackle at the 28. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Second and four. Ball on their own 28. Going with the shotgun here. Straight to the back. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. Florida will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 31 yard line. Third and one coming up on this play. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. New Hampshire will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 17 awaits the snap. He punts it. Number 19 loses the handle. Number 9 recovers a loose ball. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Florida comes out with five receivers. Looking to throw, stepping up, he throws. That one didn't have much of a chance. Well, guys, I'll tell you, here he needs to take a little bit off this pass. Otherwise, those big, tall defensive linemen are going to have a ton of knockdowns. Second, Second down, ten. 10 yards to go. The Gators set up in the gun. He drops back, steps up, looking. He chucks it downfield. Intercepted off the tip. He's made better throws than that, and they lose a possible chance at some points. Yeah, but don't forget, this guy is still a young quarterback. He's still learning the position. I'm sure he'll learn from this mistake and now know what to do the next time he's out there in a similar situation. Yeah, after all those people watching at home, remember, Kirk 
was a quarterback in college. So if you're wondering why he's so easy on the kid, will you take it easy? <laughs> They'll get the ball here at the 20. Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He has some room. Brought down at the 33-yard line. We've played a half of football here, and our score is Florida 10, New Hampshire 7. New Hampshire is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number eight takes from the 10. He jukes. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. He's looking, lets it fly, and it's caught! So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. Good catch, and can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's gotta be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year. We've got a first and ten. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. And he's stopped behind the line. From the 43-yard line. It's second down. Looks, dumps it, has his fullback, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. It's third down. Number 15 has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. Number 15 throws. Oh, man, did he take a hit. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. They're going to flag the celebration there. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 15 yard penalty. First down. They'll start at the 20 yard line. First and long. Number two lines up in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. He delivers. They can't connect. Incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. We've got a second and long. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number two comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He unloads it. 
into traffic, and it's picked off. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Gator come out in the shotgun. Throws. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 38. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. He steps up. He's tackled at the 37. Looks like we've got an injured player down there. Can't tell who it is yet. Woof, this would be a huge loss for this team. Let's hope this guy can get back into the game. Third and five situation. Ball on the 37-yard line. Florida comes out with five receivers. Back to pass. He passes it. It's tipped. Incomplete pass. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They come out on an empty backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And he stops short of the first down. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. And they've got the momentum now. Now let's see if they can put the ball in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 38-yard line. First and ten. Going with the shotgun here. They'll get him for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second, and 11. Second down. Ball on the 37-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Steps up. He lets it go. And it falls incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. No, that Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Third they line up at the 37. The it's third down and 11 to go. New Hampshire sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. He's going right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 18 is waiting for the snap. 25, back to return. Hut. Number 18, punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Number 25, signals for a fair catch. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined, first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 33. The Gators line up with three wide. Short talk. It's complete. Tackle made at the 40. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond down the field. Great. 
They line up at the 40. Second down. Number 15 with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. Breaks one. And now he's going to run. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. Number 15 is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. First they line down. up at the 44. The 44 First down. Line. Number 13 has four receivers lined up here. Shakes off a tackle. And he breaks another. He's taken down at the 48. Four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Second and six. Ball on the floor. Ball right around midfield. Ball for two. A little juke, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. They line up at the 49. Third down. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. He steps up. Looks. This one is incomplete. He's just lucky that he got that pass away. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 19 is the deep man awaiting the return. Back to punt. Number 19, back deep to return. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number 19 calls for the fair catch. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. This drive will start at the 18. From the gun. Over the middle. And that one's incomplete. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball, then think about where you're gonna go. It's second down. Ball on the 18 yard line. Number two lines up with five wide out. He throws it, he snags it. He's tackled seven, at the 25. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. They'll line up at the 25. It's third down and three to go. Only a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter. From their own 25-yard line, it's third and three. Number two, back in the gun. And they got him for a loss. Loss of about two. New Hampshire ready to punt this one away. Number 18 awaits the snap. He gets it off. Number 25 fields it at the 44. This is a pretty important possession for this defense, wouldn't you say, guys? Most certainly. They can't afford to let this offense score again. They need a big stop right here. You couldn't be more right, Coach. This is a very important possession for both teams. Right. First down, 10 yards to go. First and 10. 
Florida. Lines up with a shotgun set. Looking. He guns it right side. Incomplete pass. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Number 15 lines up with five wide out. Drop back to pass. Gets past the tackler. He's taken down at the 44 yard line. No gain on the play. From their own 44-yard line. Third down and 10 coming up. Number 15 is back in the gun. He drops back. Here's a quick throw. He's going to try to throw. It's intercepted. That interception puts him right back in the game. I wouldn't have made that throw, and let me tell you why. You got the lead in the fourth quarter. There's no need to take big risks right now. Play conservative. Let your defense shut them down. Here's the Pontiac game-changing performance. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. On sportsmanlike conduct. 15 yard penalty, first down. They'll start this drive at the 23. At the 23 yard line, first and long. Number two, with four wide receivers, drops back on first down. Throwing left. And it's a true freshman. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. It's second and long. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number two comes to the line with three wide. Number two throws it out there. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 38. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Surveys the field. It's deflected. So that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game, and now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. Fourth and ten. The Wildcats line up the punt. Number 25 is back awaiting the punt. Punts the ball away. 25 fields at the 29. So they put the ball in the hands of this offense to try to build upon their one possession lead. Right now, I think they're more worried about controlling the ball than putting points on the board, Coach. That's true, Kirk. But if they put points on the board now, they can make it a two possession ball game. And that would be pretty difficult to overcome. So it's make or break time. Who's going to rise to the challenge? Florida comes out in the shotgun. Across the middle. The ball is tipped, and it's incomplete. He tried to force that one in there. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. Second and 10, ball on the 35. They line up in the shotgun. Looks to pass, throws it out there. Catches it. Good open field tackle. A pickup of about three. Three yard gain on the play. They line up at the 38. It's third down and seven to go. Florida sets up with four receivers.
And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Number 19 will be the return man. Number 17, back to punt. Number 19, back to return. Cut. He punts it. Number 19 fields it at the 22. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? I think they need to play it very aggressive here. Forget about the field goal in overtime. They need to win this game right now. I agree, Coach. This game is in the offense's hands. I think they have enough time to move the ball down the field and put it in the end zone. I certainly wouldn't want this game heading to overtime if I were on offense right now. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. Drops back on first down. Throws. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. How about that play? Well, this is a great play, and this is a play that we saw them practice all week. Yeah, this is an area where the coach had felt they might have some success. When this defense blitzes like they do here, that leaves them in some one-on-one -on -one situations, and they took advantage of it right here. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number two has five receivers lined up here. He's looking to pass. Number two fires. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 16 was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws it. It's tipped. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 83 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down. Third and ten. It's third and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number two with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He flings it right. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. Yeah, good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. New Hampshire in a four wide set. They need this pass. Juke move. He's taken off. They'll bring him down at the 40. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll, They'll get the ball here at the 40 yard line. First and 10. The Gators come out showing three wide. They go with a run, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. New Hampshire just took their first time out. It's second down. The Gators line up with four wideouts. Handoff to the right. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. New Hampshire takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. It's third and one. Ball on the 49-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Third and short, and they hand it off. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. New Hampshire will take their final timeout. Hey. 
First down, 10 to go. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. They line up at the 40. It's second down and 12. Six DBs in the lineup. He'll get the call again. Gets past the tackler. He might have a chance. The 10. Touchdown, Florida. Well, that just about really sealed the deal. Yeah, but the score at the end of this day doesn't show how close this game really was. It was a hard-fought battle down to the very thing. Here's the Pontiac game-changing performance. There's a flag down, and here's the call. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the drive. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Florida 17, New Hampshire 7. Florida is ready to kick it away. Number 19 and number 83 back deep to return. Kicks off. Number 19 fields it at the seven. Guys, what do you think about this situation? There is just too much ground to make up and not enough time, coach. Yep, they played very well today, Kirk. This game is a lot closer than the score on the scoreboard is showing right now. to the left he's looking he passes it and it's incomplete he put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver oh boy guys i think he'd like that pass back yeah kirk he won't miss that receiver too often second and ten ball on their own 27 the wildcats line up with five receivers back to pass steps up number two guns it it's complete, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Florida faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Florida 17, New Hampshire 7. With the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and all the EA Sports team, I'm Brad Nessler signing off. Thank <laughs> you.